I spent the last hour trying on outfits, debating between comfy or cute, and I landed on this, and I'm going to be pulling this up all day, but at least I feel cute. Also, this broke. You can't really, it's, it's, yeah. It's also a million degrees outside. Also, also, also. I'll show my full fit in a sec. Going thrifting today because that's what I'm in the mood to do. Sorry that my last video was thrifting and my video like two videos ago was thrifting, but that's what I'm in the mood to do. Now there's a garbage truck behind me. If I'm not thrifting, like, or doing what I want, Rec recently my mind has been blank and empty. All I've been in the mood to do is just. at nothing, just blank. So the fact that I'm in the mood to go thrifting and film, also that's why my videos have been more sporadically placed and not posted on days like I wanted them to be because no thoughts had empty. I'm on my last semester, I'm burned out, I'm tired. Um, Yeah, but we're gonna go thrifting. I'm probably gonna go to Goodwill, the new one, because I wanna go there again. It was easy to film in there. The music wasn't too loud like it is and unfortunately my favorite thrift store. And yeah, and then also I'm excited because I went thrifting with friends a little bit and I got a bunch of stuff, so whether I find stuff or not, there's gonna be a haul at the end of this video. In terms of Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss, I'm Girl Boss, and it's taking a lot for me to admit that to myself, because I really don't want to be, but I guess it's better than Gaslight. I don't know, kind of going through an existential crisis, kind of going through a personality crisis, I don't know. Last time I went thrifting by myself, I played the song that I'm obsessed with at the moment, so I guess I'll do that again. This is the song that I won't stop listening to on repeat. Oh my god, why is... I went camping and I didn't wash my car after and that was probably not a good idea. It's filthy. I forgot I was messing with the mic. Um, I don't like going through car washes alone. I'm My biggest fear is that I'm going to miss the track and I don't want to wash my car myself. So that's going to be, be put off for a little bit longer. I think, okay, I think while I was driving I realized I think I know what sparked my existential crisis and that's the fact that I'm not the height that I've been telling people I am and I'm not the height on my license because I've been telling people I'm five foot four since I was like 16 and I have another friend who's been telling people that she's five foot four and I'm like you can't be five foot four because I'm two inches taller than you you're definitely five foot two she's five foot four I'm five foot six which kind of I like being actually kind of like Here's the thing is I didn't get any taller, I just didn't know how tall I was, but for some reason I feel like really tall and powerful now. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're at Goodwill. I'm gonna chop now and vlog some of that. So much I was right I just didn't tie it right I've worn this as a shirt before but when I tied it better I'm fine with being alone in public until something makes me aware that I'm alone in public and I just got like painfully aware that I was alone in public that whole time and for some reason I just didn't film that much because I was literally like not not in the zone I was alone in public and it made me feel weird, even though literally almost everyone else shopping right now was also alone, like there was only like 
a few moms with kids, but there were no like friend groups or couples or anything. But then the the experience I had with the cashier made it worse. Like I was like, okay, I should just pay for my thing and get out of here. And then, okay, by the way, also, if they ask you to donate when you're paying, don't donate because it goes to the company. Like they already picked how much they're going to donate. And then when you donate to them, they just get a tax break. Like, you're not actually doing it. Like, if you're going to donate, donate on your own name, on your own time. But they ask you twice. She's like, do you want to donate a dollar? And I was like, no, thank you. And then she's like, okay, do you want to round up your total? And I was like, no, thank you. And she, like, gave me a look. And then she said something that I didn't hear. But it didn't feel kind. I don't, like, it, it was, she was at the register. And she was like, she was like, do you want to, like, do you want to round up? And I was like, no, thank you. And she's like, and then she said something. And I don't know what she said. Um, also, okay, I got one thing. I was just not in the zone today this okay this might be ugly but hear me out hear me out also the lady she looked at my top and she's like oh that's really cute and I was like thank you and she's like I could never wear that and I'm like well first of all wear whatever you want second of all I don't know that was like why did that make me feel so weird it might be uglier on but we'll see so um should I get Duncan no I already had coffee today but it's right there Okay, I don't need it. I already spent money. I'm gonna go home and show the stuff that I bought recently and the thing that I bought. Okay, my room is absolutely a mess. And this light is kind of bad. Please ignore that. Okay, um, this is the outfit that I wore. These are the jeans that I've been wearing literally every day this summer for some reason. I chose to wear jeans all summer. Um, they're originally brandy mobile, but I thrifted them. The belt is thrifted. This top is thrifted. It's one of the things I was gonna show. It's actually a scarf. It's a scarf I found at Savers that I just tied as a top. And then my Doc Martens. Okay, this this is something I thrifted, this is something thrifted. Technically I thrifted this, but I got it at Depop. Oh, also, the rings that I always wear, but then I got a new one from Sedona. The, the rings that I always wear, and I got another new one from Sedona, but I haven't been wearing it that much. It's just like the moon cycles. It just doesn't fit super well. It starts to like fall off after a long day, so, but it's cute. I got it in Sedona because that's where I went camping when I went camping and didn't wash my car. <laughs> if my posture was bad in that clip, I'm going to scream. I'm going to take a thumbnail real quick. Also, side note, I recently really, really hate thumbnails. Like. I'm considering just starting to choose the default thumbnail that it shows me because I've been so stressed making thumbnails. That's probably good. If it's not, I'm gonna scream. Okay, hear me out, because I really like the detail on the collar. Like, it's not just a plain collar. Boop. And like, the ribbing. Okay, I'm gonna try it on right now and see. What I thought was, okay, it's kind of cute, and if I can't wear it as a fit, then I can still wear it as a pajama shirt because it's really soft, or I can just use it as, like, an undershirt so that when I wear stuff, I'll have, like, a collar. Okay, wait, no, I like it. I can't tell. Mm. If anything, though, I, now I just have a shirt. I just burped, like, in those gross. Um, if anything, I still have, like, a collar now for shirts. I just thought it was a cute collar, and it was only a few dollars. I went camping with my friends who also really like thrifting, so we went to the Goodwill in Sedona, Arizona, and I got two things. This first one I just thought was funny because, like, it's kind of a touristy shirt, but I got it in the Goodwill and it was really cheap. It's just this, like, shirt it says Sedona, Arizona. Um, I love that my friend, I picked it out and my friend was like, the scale and it kind of gives me grandma vibes because everything I've been buying recently has been grandma vibes. Which is fun. This is also grandma vibes. I've been wanting a shirt like this, like Brandy Melville kind of sells it. And this one's a little bit oversized, but I actually kind of enjoy how it fits. It's this, it's kind of like a sleep shirt, but I'm definitely going to wear it as a real shirt. And I really like it. Um, yeah, these are both grandma and I got them in Sedona. And then um, at the same store that I got this, I got this at Savers. And then at that Savers trip, I also got these shorts. And I'm kind of disappointed in them. I saw a TikTok of a girl who had like long khaki shorts on and they looked so cute on her. So I was trying to go for that vibe for these. 
I don't think I like them that much. I don't know. I'm going to keep them for now and like figure it out and see if I can style them. But they're just not the vibe I was hoping for. But whatever. And then the last place that I went off camera was Deseret Thrift. I got this pleated skirt. I already have a pleated skirt, but it's this one from Princess Polly that like... I already have this white pleated skirt, but I don't really like how this part isn't also pleated because then I feel weird wearing a crop top or something tucked into it. I feel like I need to wear a shirt that ends here. So I got a white pleated skirt that doesn't have that. This one's just pleated all the way around and it has pockets. And it's kind of interesting because I think it's vintage. I don't really know exactly what that tag is, but like it's one long panel and then you button it to make it the skirt. That's really cute though, I got that at Deseret. And then the last thing, also at Deseret, this was only a dollar. I thought I kind of needed more decorations for my room. I don't have a lot of postery things. And ballet will always hold a special place in my heart. I love ballet, I used to do it and I haven't done it in a long time, it makes me sad. So I kind of like having something in my room that reminds me that I used to do it. I might hang it up one day. We'll see how that goes. That's everything that I thrifted today. Um, let me know. Comment down. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.